Hi, this is Cami back with Fun with Google A to Z. And today we are going to look at U is for underwater.earth, where we are going to look at how Google Street View works under the water. And so we're going to start by going to underwater.earth. And when we get there, um, there's a, a website where we can look at a bunch of different things about this charitable organization that has helped to get underwater street view. So if you scroll down, you'll click on a Google Earth link. And this Google Earth link is special in that it is set up to take us into the watery parts of the globe. And when we get into Google Earth, it will give us this information deck up in the top right hand corner that says ocean covers 71% of the earth. And now if we click into Google Earth here, we can see that there are all of these pins around the water. So we can spin all around the world and see everywhere that there's a pin, there is some Google Earth underneath there. Let's go to a very famous place and that would be the coast of Australia. So we're going to zoom in and we're going to go in and take a look here somewhere along the Great Barrier Reef. So I'm going to click on one of those pins and it's going to take us spinning into Google Earth. And so up here again in the top right, it tells us where we are. When we get there, it spins automatically. I'm not moving my mouse. If we want to go a little bit more quickly, I can scroll around. Sometimes we get the underworld arrows as well. And so we can see the fish, the coral. Up above here again, I'm going to click the forward arrow. It's going to take me to a new scene. And so this is Kite Reef on Great Barrier Reef. Spinning around again. It's beautiful. Let's check out another one. Here we have the cod hole. So we've got some fish. You can see the boat up above. It's fun to just scroll around and see what we have as far as marine life, coral. If you would like, you can keep reading on the data cards. If you click onto the table of contents, it takes you to different parts of the world and you can search into the water areas of one of these different places, mostly warm water oceans where we might find sea animals or shipwrecks or all sorts of wonderful things. So that is underwater.earth, which takes us under the water in Google Earth.